Well, look, Australian politicians have long been accused of having their head in the sand when it comes to climate change. So for many people, this stance wasn't a surprise. In fact, one analyst said that it was as depressing as it was predictable. And they argue that really for these politicians, they've got nothing to lose. By 2050, they'll be long gone. And any negative ramifications for inaction now, uh, they won't have to face in terms of their voter base. And so one Liberal leader, former Liberal leader, actually said, look, I'm not happy with what my party's doing. And I think in fact, the only thing that will make them act is if they lose a seat over this issue because they're, they're really putting their heads in the sand over this. Well, I'm kind of curious about that. I mean, coming out, uh, being so forceful about it, is that politically popular? Well, look, that nothing wins Australian voters over more than one four-letter word, which is jobs. And in this case, we're talking about 50,000 jobs that coal mining provides. So for a lot of people, this is a vote winner, it, as hard as it is to understand. It's not only just about the jobs, though. It's also about Australia's energy mix. Coal currently accounts for 60% of Australia's power. So that brings us to another vote winning issue, which is household fees and charges. If you've got less coal that you're able to use, household fees and charges in terms of power use go up. So that's also something where the government is saying, well, look, if, we, if we're going to do this, they've also warned that you know, the lights could go off, that there could be blackouts because you won't have renewable energy um, providing enough of a, of a backstop in, in, in cases of uh, when you have shortfalls. You put it in context then, so people are really thinking about jobs, electricity, not the coral reefs? Absolutely not, and it is particularly it is particularly important for the coral reefs because uh, the difference between 1.5% warming and 2%, and for a lot of people that doesn't make a lot of sense. But when you actually think about 99% of that reef potentially being destroyed, if if it's just a half a centimetre increase, it actually does have a lot of an impact, and also on tourism. The, the Barrier Reef is one of the greatest known um, things that Australia has to offer, so certainly that will have an impact. But um, while other countries are backing away from coal or certainly decreasing their reliance on it, Australia is still approving new coal mines, so it's certainly not something they're backing away from.